What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Megan 2. We'll be talking about uh, The Exorcist from Mike Flanagan. We'll be talking about The Black Phone 2 and we'll talk about Scream 7 briefly. So starting off here talking about Megan 2. Allison Williams appeared at New York Comic Con during the Blumfest panel and made some comments about Megan 2 which also had a small teaser shown with Megan rocking a new wig it looked like she had a look like she got her hair done it's all i'll say look like we got a new look coming for megan she commented that the first movie was a learning experience which allowed the sequel to be bigger and more expansive animatronics are you know temp temperamental adding that megan herself is a diva sometimes she is rolled onto set the vibe shifts in the room it gets way spookier it was fun to do it the second time Okay, so we know how this is achieved. We know how to do it. We can have a little bit more fun with it and make it bigger and more expansive without giving too much away. Now, Williams confirmed that production on Megan 2.0 recently wrapped. Then came a short video message recorded by Megan where she said, Hi, New York Comic Con. Miss me. Sorry I couldn't be there because I'm slain on set for my killer new film, Megan 2.0. I've been upgraded. See you nerds in June. Megan also slightly confirmed that the movie's title is officially phrased as 2.0 and not simply Megan 2. Now, this report comes from The Hollywood Reporter. But guys, they are doing their absolute best to protect that second doll rumor. The only thing I can even cling on to that seems we're going to be going down the path of getting that confirmation sooner rather than later is Megan herself acknowledging she's been upgraded. Like I revealed earlier this year, the rumored plan is to introduce a second doll named Amelia, which may be a placeholder, but a second doll that's evil while Megan turns babyface and protects Katie and Gemma this time around. So let's talk about Mike Flanagan's The Exorcist. Mike Flanagan was also in attendance during the upcoming panel or during the panel recently to discuss his upcoming Exorcist sequel. He explained he was drawn to the property because it's one of the most legendary films of all time. He said he saw an opportunity to make the scariest movie he's ever made and he just couldn't resist it. Now I can say to my childhood self, I got to make the sequel to The Exorcist and to The Shining, which was phenomenal, Dr. Sleep. If you haven't watched it, check it out. And to Ouija. Now his words are making the scariest movie. Now the words about making the scariest movie he's ever made seems to have been misunderstood. He's not saying it's going to be the scariest movie ever. He's saying it's going to be his scariest movie he's ever made. And I believe him. From what we've seen in the past, Mike Flanagan knows how to get scary. He knows how to get under your skin. I've seen it in The Haunting of Hill House. I've seen it in The Haunting of Bly Manor. I've seen it with sequences that take place in Dr. Sleep. Uh, more specifically, the one I'm thinking of that comes to mind is what happens with the baseball kid. But... I have a gut feeling if Mike Flanagan is going to be diving into the world of The Exorcist, he's going to take all the scariest moments I can think of from those projects I just mentioned, combining it with all the scariest moments I can mention from his Ouija movie, which was a vast improvement over the last Ouija movie that came before it, and he will deliver the scariest movie he's ever made. He's not saying he's going to deliver the scariest movie ever. For him, though, I can see him accomplishing his personal scariest film project yet with the exorcist and i trust that he's going to give us something special that will wash away the bad taste left in my mouth from david gordon green's poor efforts to dive back into the world of the exorcist mike flanagan should have been the one attached to begin with so when he got announced to be on board for this new iteration of the exorcist that's going to be a sequel it was just a sigh of relief i don't even have to worry about the project i just put so much trust in Mike to get it right because he hasn't failed me yet with any of his projects. Now, let's talk about the Black Phone 2. So Scott Derrickson was also in attendance where he, te or he appeared on screen, he wasn't in attendance. He teased what we could expect for the Black Phone 2 during this Blumfest panel. He said the first was a middle school coming of age film and then the sequel is a high school coming of age film and that filming will start in nine days so we can expect Gwen and Finney to be in high school. If you saw my video last night, you know that I've also now gone into some rumored plot details. But well, I will recap that in this video for you guys that didn't watch the full length video. It would appear the Black Phone 2 is going to be including a lot of flashbacks to the 1950s with kids at summer camp, kids at a church, something with a band, and we're even going to have flashbacks apparently to a 19 year old version of the Grabber and a 30 year old version of Damien Bashar's character who hasn't been revealed yet we don't know what he's playing but my theory right now 
is that he's playing the grabber's father or something along those lines. And we will see that come to fruition during these flashbacks and explore the grabber's backstory through those flashbacks. And hopefully it's just not done in a way that makes me overly sympathetic towards the character and preserves the mystique that's been built up in that first movie. Um, now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Scream 7. So Scream 7 is expected to include the return of Gail Weathers. And Courtney Cox reportedly gave a comment at this Inc. 5000 event where she said, I'm the longest running Scream Queen, so I guess I can't stop now. Now, a few weeks ago, we were hearing Cox hadn't even signed. Now we're back to the even though I'm not signed, I plan to return comments. Like I've stated, ever since February, I've been hearing that she would be back or at least she intended to be back. So if she hasn't signed by now, she's just making it clear she will be signing at some point down the road. Some of you are saying you've heard she signed. I cannot say that I've heard the same. <laughs> But the back and forth is very similar with what went on during Scream 6. So I don't think she got an official announcement during the production of Scream 6 either. She filming just started. We got a photo of her on set. I could see something similar like that playing out with Scream 7. She's obviously going to be back as Gail Weathers. Gail has been talked about being a part of this story countless times. We've had so many different indirect sources confirming that she's back without it coming from Courtney herself who at this point again is just reaffirming she intends to come back so gail weathers will be involved in scream 7 i don't mind if gail dies this time around they need to do something when it comes to killing someone major and if it has to be gail it just has to be gail because if you're going to kill off major characters sydney would be last in line and i don't even think sydney should ever die so bye bye gail but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to any of these projects why or why not let me know all that down below what do you think about the details with megan 2 what do you think about the Black Phone 2 having flashbacks? What do you think about Mike Flanagan's intentions with his Exorcist project? Do you think that'll be his scariest film yet? And what do you think about Courtney Cox coming back as Gail Weathers? Do you think she should be killed off? Do you think she should not be killed off? Let me know all that down below. If you're having a recourse, course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys i will see you in the next video